Here's some of the parts we'll be using for the installation of the license plate holder with light. Two colors of 16 gauge wire, split wire loom tuming, two quick splices, ring terminals, butt splices, two paint head screws for mounting, and zip ties. Here's the tools used in this video. Sharpie, drill with a 5 30 seconds bit, Phillips head bit, wire crimper, cutter and stripper, multimeter. Here's a quick look at the unit we'll be installing. It only has a power wire and we'll have to add our own ground wire that'll make contact with the metal on the unit. I'd recommend just buying a unit that has the ground wire installed. Before we go any further, let's sing a safety song. Before you walk on your car, do these safety things before you start. Turn on the car, parking brake down, flip your switch to dome on, and disconnect your battery. Hey, this is Paul from Streetwise Carts, and before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this video is part of our free street legalization mini course available at streetwisecarts.com. Signing up for this course also gives you our downloadable parts buying worksheet. This free mini course is the installation portion of our full street legalization course that goes over all the state paperwork and compliance issues that you need to be aware of when converting your golf cart to a street legal LSV. You can find a link to the free mini course along with the 10% off coupon for a full street legalization course right down below this video. All right, let's jump back in. First thing I'm going to do is find a good location to mount the unit near the driver's side tail light. I'm using a spare license plate to get an idea of where the plate will sit. Then I'll mark holes with a Sharpie and drill out some pilot holes. Now I can mount the unit with some pan head screws. The light will get power from our tail light and wire routed through the wheel well and under the cart. Let's look at how to grab power from the right wire. I've hooked up my old wiring harness for demonstration purposes. I've turned on my headlight switch and I'm using the multimeter to see which two wires are a positive and negative. I've identified the red wire as the positive and the white wire as the negative. Your colors might be different. Here I'm demonstrating how we'll use a quick splice to tap into these wires for our license plate light. In order to protect our wire that'll run underneath the cart, I'm threading our wires through this plastic loom tube. Now I can use the quick splice to tap into the tail light wires. With our wires attached, I'm routing the plate light wires through a gap in the wheel well. I'm drilling a hole and adding a zip tie here to help keep the wires in place. Now the wires can be routed underneath the cart. I have to drill holes in the plastic undercarriage in order to secure the wire with zip ties. At this point, I took off the license plate holder and added my ground wire. Your unit will probably include this wire and you can skip this step. I also crimped on the butt connectors for attaching to our positive and negative wires that we just ran. I'm remounting the bracket again and crimping everything together. This step is optional, but I'm hitting these connectors with the heat gun since they're heat shrink connectors. Now I can run the loom all the way through and secure the wires in place with more zip ties. Finally, we're ready to hook up our power sources and give it a spin. 